Hello, Bobcats and all you other OCPS teachers out there. Brad Schreffler here, and today is going to be the first of a series of videos explaining my vision for what a blended class should look like and how you will function using BBB, your desktop in your classroom, and your laptop. So this is a three-part process, so I really want to walk you through every step one at a time. So the first step is going to be microphone. One of the problems of trying to teach blended in virtual environment with the classroom is how the kids are going to hear you. So here's how we're going to do it. We're going to connect our audio enhancement in our room into our presentation station so that it functions as a microphone. All it takes is an aux cable, which your school should be able to provide to you, the district has provided, and you're going to take this cable, you're going to plug it into the out port on your audio enhancement device. Yours may look slightly different than this depending on the gear, the model, the brand, all that kind of stuff, but what you're looking for is an out port. Should have a headphone icon of some kind on it. So we're going to plug one end right there. The other end is going to get plugged into the microphone input on your computer. So if you have the standard desktop style for the presentation stations, that's what most people will have. There is actually a port right above the headphone port. If you look at it, it has a headphone and a microphone, and it's going to be right there. When you plug it in, your computer should pop up and ask you what you just plugged in. You're going to go ahead and click on Mic In and then click OK. If you don't see that dialog, you can pull it back up, hit the, hit the arrow in your notifications bar, and then hit the orangish square that says DTS Audio Control Panel when you click on it. And that will pull this panel back up. That's the first part. Now, when you go into your BBB and you start your session, when you join with the microphone, we're going to check and see if it can hear me on my audio enhancement. So if I can hear it in the echo test, then I hit OK, great. Double check that it's the one on here. You may want to step away, go to the other side of the room, make sure you're hearing it come back out of your audio. If you are hearing it, great. Now we know it's being recorded. If we aren't, then we're going to go ahead and click the no, and then we're going to change our microphone source. So in this case, I have this option here that says default. I'm going to click that, and I'm going to change it to one of the other options and see if I hear it better now. Test, 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 test. Right. Test, 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 test. And if I do, then we're good. I go ahead and hit retry. It will connect me back to the echo test, 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 see if it's coming back to you, and then hit yes as long as we hear it. That's going to be the physical setup on this computer. I'm going to switch over now. That's going to be the physical setup on this computer. Now remember, this should be the computer that's actually connected to your smart board. Here's the nice thing about this computer. This is where we're going to be logged into the BBB first. We're going to use the audio enhancement to be our microphone, and then we're going to actually do screen sharing out of this device. The reason being, if we do screen sharing out of this device, it's going to pull our smart board screen, and that's what our students are going to be able to see. So we're going to go ahead and turn on screen sharing. We're going to go ahead and go to your entire screen and pick the one that is my smart board, and then hit share. Now I'm going to switch it over to like a blank page, somewhere I can write on, like you would with your smart board at any time. And now, whenever I draw on my smart board, it will be shared to my students in their BBB conference. So now I can do everything I would normally do on my smart board, and that's getting shared. The final step of this is actually really simple. All you're going to do is log in to the BBB again on your laptop your school laptop, you're going to log into it again, and that is where you'll use the webcam. The only thing you'll turn on on that one is your webcam. That way, you can put it in the middle of the room, you can carry it around with you, wherever you want it, so that your camera is facing you as you're teaching, and your students can see you on that webcam. They can hear you through the audio enhancement, and they'll see your screen through screen sharing all on the BBB. They'll see your name twice. You can be on a BBB on two different computers at the same time. So that will make sure that they can see everything, hear everything. It'll all work for you. I hope that gave you guys a better idea of how this might work. Really, again, connect your audio enhancement into your desktop. Turn on that microphone on this computer. Connect microphone and screen share on this one, on your presentation station. And then on your laptop, log into the BBB again 
and share your webcam from there. I hope that helped you guys out. I hope that gives you a better vision of how you might be able to do some blended classes that your students will be able to hear you and see you clearly even when they're online. And as always, I know you are going to do awesome things for and with your students this year.